Hi there, my name's Dave and I'm a property maintenance specialist. Uh, one of my specialties is upcycling and uh, restoring old furniture that ordinarily would end up on the tip. As you can see, this is solid wood and it's got a lot of life left in it yet. It's just a bit tired and it just needs a little bit of TLC. So what we're gonna be doing today with it is stripping it back, taking most of the old varnish off, fill in all the damage, the cracks and the dents, replace the handles for some nice fancy handles and we're going to line out the drawers and turn it into something you can cherish for the rest of your life. So the type of things we'd need for this job is a dustpan and brush, sandpaper, a sanding block, wood filler, a spatula, paint, a roller and a tray, brushes, a screwdriver, wallpaper, a tape measure, a ruler, sharp pair of kitchen scissors, stencils, masking tape, sponges, a dust mask, gloves, doorknobs, and a pencil. Okay, so uh, we're gonna have a quick look over the chest of drawers before we start. Look, see where all the main damage is. Um, take the drawers out. Quick check to see if there's any damage uh, on the inside to any of the joints or to the brackets that are holding it on. We're gonna be taking the handles off, so it doesn't matter how bad those handles are. Check over it all, give it a good clean, and then crack on with sanding it down and checking where we're gonna be doing the filling. We've had a good look over it to make sure that uh, find out where the damage is. We're going to give it a quick clean and this will prevent the paint not sticking or it'll uncover any damage that we've got on the carcass. Clean all the front of the drawers and do the same with inside the drawers as well because you collect a lot of dust inside the drawers. Okay, so let's start taking the drawer handles off. Simple as that. Right, so once we've taken off the last of our handles, um, we can start sanding. Now, there's two ways to sand. There's a quick way and there's a long way. Ordinarily, I would use a power sander on this, but I realized that some DIYs aren't gonna have access to a power sander. So you can get just as good a quality of job with a block, anywhere between 100 and 120 grit sandpaper, okay? Of course, we're gonna be creating a bit of dust, so on goes the particle mask just so that we don't inhale any of the dust. And then we're gonna start sanding. We're just gonna do a little bit at a time without going too close to the edges. We don't wanna lose the contours or the profile of the corner. Long, smooth strokes, going with the grain. Okay, so now we've got everything cleaned down, uh, we're gonna start to do some filling. So we're gonna use a, a standard wood filler. Uh, it's a natural color, you don't need to match up the color of the wood because we are gonna be painting it. And we're gonna use a spreader and just a standard palette knife. waiting for the filler to dry before we sand it all off we're going to do some um, measuring up marking out for the drawers for the lining for the drawer for the wallpaper so nice sharp pair of scissors and a pencil a tape measure and like I've got just a straight edge this is the drawer lining paper that we're going to use so it's sticky backed which is ideal let's start measuring up the drawers and then we can cut up the uh, lining paper and then we can save them all for later. Okay, so there's a, uh, a couple of ways you could do it. You could just measure straight across, uh, which is at 692 millimeters by 333, 692 by 333. Well, I find the best way is to turn it upside down because then you've got a perfect template there perfect template and you can measure it more accurately and I can see that that immediately is 334 going across is 690 694 so once we've got those marked on then we can just draw a straight edge we 
as you can see, fits like a glove. We've let the filler dry and I can see that it's all turned a nice light colour. We're going to start sanding it. Same again, use 120 grit sandpaper. Just do it in the same way as the grain. Slowly, don't try to take it all off at once. And then you'll find that the edges of each area that you've sanded will just start to fade. And when you can't really see a clear edge to it, you know that you've taken off enough of the filler. Okay, so that's enough now. We can uh, just finish off the drawers before we do our final dust, before we paint it. So I should just do this drawer front now. Exactly the same, long strokes with the grain. Look at the edges of the filler until they start to blur. We've sanded down what we filled and we've cleaned it all off. Now it's time to paint. So we've got some uh, Lagoon Colour satin finish paint and it's a it's a primer combined so it will fill really well and it will go on quite good. So a few things that we're going to be using, put my gloves on. I'm going to be taping the front just to make a nice straight edge a little bit later on and we've got a couple of different sized paintbrushes and a couple of rollers. I'm just going to start with my large roller first. So initially just load up the roller with enough paint just to give it a colour. You don't really want it to be too dripping, just a little bit at a time. Start in the centre, slowly work your way to the edges. Try not to go too heavy on the edges because you'll get the paint leaching down to the side and then we can always later on use our brush on the moulded corners. Now onto the drawer. When you're going over the little holes don't press too hard because you'll get paint dripping down inside the drawer which is not ideal. Okay so now I'm just going to do the edges of the of the unit and I'm going to use a paintbrush first uh, just to get into this little crevice here and then once I've got paint in there, I'm just going to go over it with a roller just to give it the same finish as the top. Okay, so now we've got the knobs on the drawers, we can start lining it. We have to make sure that each one that we've cut goes onto the right drawer, so I've marked them sufficiently. Handy to have a sponge with you just so you can smooth it into the corners. Just unravel it, just a little bit at a time, the smallest amount you need to unroll it, really, just so that you can get it started. got all the knobs on the drawers, we've got the drawers in, we've got the lining paper in there as well, it's all looking very nice. Um, I've set the stencils out where I'm going to uh, have them in the centre, all equidistant, front and back, and I've just stolen one of the wise sponges, uh, ripped off the back and I've made a purpose dibber, little dibber, so you just very gently just go around all the little bits. Just before we start to um, apply the paint, you know, so I've just put some masking tape along there. They're just the edges that I don't really want the white paint to go on. And then we're going to gently work from the centre outwards. Almost dry. Very little on there. You can always add it, but you can't take it off.
Right, that's all the stenciling completed. Um, I hope these steps have helped you and it'll give you the confidence to have a go yourself. If not, you can book myself or one of my colleagues to do it for you through Airtasker. Tusker.